Over the past two million years, the human brain has tripled in size. While the timeline is clear, what fueled this expansion remains mysterious. Today, we explore an intriguing theory on antromedia. Did external fermentation play a role in the remarkable growth of the human brain? Before we proceed, don't forget to subscribe. The expensive tissue hypothesis suggests that resources were shifted from the digestive system to fuel brain expansion, since the brain consumes a lot of energy. This theory argues that a smaller gut allowed more calories to be redirected to the brain. Research supports this, noting our relatively large brains and a gut size only 60% of what is expected for a primate of our size. However, reducing gut size wouldn't be helpful without a shift to a more energy-dense, easily digestible food source. Some studies suggest that increased meat consumption played a role in this dietary shift, while modern humans eat more meat than our primate relatives. The shift to hunting might have occurred later in our evolution. Overall, the balance between the benefits of a larger brain and the energy costs, including dietary changes, likely contributed to our brain's remarkable expansion. Our ancestors might not have hunted as much as they scavenged for meat after carnivores finished their meals. This power scavenging idea suggests they confronted carnivores to get valuable meat portions. Another potential change to their diet could be the consumption of underground storage organs like tubers. However, the importance of tubers is debated as they may not provide as many calories as previously thought. Cooking could be another key factor. Cooked food, including tubers and possibly scavenged meat, might have offered extra calories and nutrients. Cooking has clear benefits like making calories more available and easing digestion. Despite the lack of direct evidence for fire usage by early hominins, the advantages of cooking make it a plausible contributor to brain expansion. While the exact origins of controlled fire use remain uncertain, it likely played a role in our ancestors' cognitive development. The external fermentation hypothesis suggests that early humans with brains similar to chimpanzees might have practiced external digestion by letting microorganisms in the environment break down some of their food. This external digestion could have helped our brains grow by offering surplus energy budget. The idea proposes that external fermentation had benefits like better nutrient absorption and immune support. The theory also explains the reduction in human gut size, especially the colon responsible for internal fermentation. Internal fermentation in our gut is a natural process that breaks down food during digestion with the help of bacteria and yeasts helping us absorb nutrients. It also makes essential vitamins and minerals more available. External fermentation happens outside the body and contributes to digestibility, nutrient absorption, and immune function. The external fermentation hypothesis proposes that the development of external fermentation technology played a role in early hominin brain expansion challenging the expensive tissue hypothesis. According to the latter, a reduction in gut tissue allows the reallocation of metabolic resources to the brain. However, this poses a paradox, as gut tissue is essential for caloric uptake. The hypothesis suggests that smaller gut sizes in humans evolved due to the exploitation of a more nutrient-dense and easily digestible food source. Examining the gastrointestinal tract, the size reduction is not uniform across organs. In humans, the colon has about one-third the volume of the small intestine, whereas in non-human great apes, it is twice or even five times the volume. Calculations based on estimations show that while there is an overall gut reduction of over 41, the reduction is not consistent across subcomponents. The small intestine's proportion increases by 58, while the colon experiences the largest reduction about 74. The significant reduction in colon size may indicate a decreased dependence on fibrous plant material, a role of the colon in aiding the breakdown of enzyme-resistant carbohydrates. The hypothesis suggests that a shift to meat-eating alone may not explain this reduction. Instead, it proposes that the decreased need to break down fibrous plant material within the digestive tract could result from increased nutrient bioavailability before food consumption, possibly through external fermentation. Early humans might not have needed forethought or a detailed understanding of fermentation when external fermentation first emerged. 
Instead, they could have simply stored food in a common location, periodically adding and consuming items. The reuse of storage sites may have encouraged the stability of a microbial environment conducive to fermentation. New food additions might have become infused with existing microorganisms at the location, as our ancestors' brains developed. A more sophisticated understanding of fermentation could have evolved, eventually leading to the controlled fermentation practices observed in contemporary times. The advantages of this hypothesis include lower cognitive demands, making it feasible for early humans with smaller brains. Unlike cooking, it didn't need a special light bulb moment for discovery. Fermentation stability and ability to preserve food internally and externally make it a credible factor in shaping human diets. Looking at modern fermentation practices, we see a wide variety of intentionally fermented foods worldwide. This suggests fermentation was crucial in our history. The global taste preference for fermented foods, seen in popular condiments like fish sauce, indicates a shared taste that may have evolved over our history. Overall, this hypothesis offers a new perspective on how our ancestors' dietary practices might have influenced brain growth. Although there may not be sufficient direct evidence to conclusively support the idea that early humans engaged in external fermentation as a significant factor in brain expansion, this hypothesis has added a new perspective to understanding brain expansion.